There's a 1989 Spectrum 17 foot fish and ski boat for sale. Uh, the uh, boat is a, uh, like I said, an 89. The engine is a 75 Mariner. That is in uh, great shape and it is, uh, I believe, a 1991. I have the uh, papers uh, and everything. Uh, the trailer, the trailer is a bunk style trailer that's in uh, excellent shape. It's a 2001 the trailer. Uh, like I said, great shape. I purchased this boat off a uh, Minnesota boat uh, two years ago. It was off a, a Bible camp. I'm not making that up. It was a Bible camp and the trailer actually they had purchased it new and they basically stored it uh, about a hundred feet away from the lake so the, the most action this trailer saw was when I pulled it back from uh, the Minneapolis area there uh, two years ago. So take a quick look inside here. It has a, a live functioning live well that works uh, great. Also has uh, storage here in the front, and over there is a uh, was a cooler. The plastic has been cracked, but uh, you can still fit a cooler in there if you like. There's that. Um, just a quick front look at the, uh, at the trailer here. Nice thing about this boat, it's very roomy and uh, the seats are movable, which is uh, very, very handy, very helpful. Uh, the seats were actually brand new when uh, when I bought it. The guy uh, the guy had purchased the seats uh, very recent and um, yeah, these seats alone go for about $70 if you go to Walmart, so he's got probably over $300 worth of seats here. Uh, the mini top removable and uh, that's very handy on uh, on hot days uh, we used to take this boat out in the white shell white west hawk lake and uh, the top came in very handy especially uh, especially on the hot days and another nice thing about the uh, the seats being uh, removing the seats we could actually take two seats out there's four of us so the kids would sit in the front and my wife and i would sit in the back here and uh, go out tubing and all that kind of stuff. So, again, here's another quick look at the, the motor. And I got it hooked up to the uh, to the uh, to the hose there. That uh, they have these earmuffs that go over top of it. And I'll be firing that up uh, momentarily here. Oh, there's also a yeah swim ladder that comes with it as well. There's a swim ladder. And these, uh, the lights here, the uh, bow and stern lights also come with it. Uh, the other thing it has, I should mention, is rod lockers. Let's take a look over here with the keys. So the keys are in there, so you can put uh, fishing rods in the side there, nice, nice for storage. And uh, there is a radio um, that comes with it as well. Uh, nothing fancy, but at least you can get some uh, signals wherever you are. And I should also mention uh, a new bilge pump. Let's take a look at the cockpit here. So I installed that last year. And the live well has, uh, here's the aerator switch. We turn it on, it sucks water into the, into the live well. Here's the nav lights, the horn. And uh, let me just turn the key on there. Oops. So it's a newer battery. And uh, also comes with, uh, one final thing here is two gas tanks. Two, um, there's one of them. One of them's in the boat. But I'll throw on a second one there. Actually, yeah, I'll show you here quickly. There's a nice little uh, flip up thing here for, uh, for additional storage. If you can see, there's the other gas tank there and the new battery. And again, uh, underneath there's uh, additional storage. So great boat for the price uh, thanks for for watching and uh, we're gonna fire it up here right away okay so here's the uh, start engine startup to show you briefly got the uh, the hose going there and we'll fire it up right now so basically on the startup I'll tell you what let me get into the boat here Yeah. 
on the startup, you lift up this, and on the key, you turn it and you actually press it in to give it a bit of fuel into the engine. And here we go. Start it up. To move forward, you turn it, put this down. Gets it into idle stage, and then you essentially turn this, and it engages the engine. I'll just take a quick look here. has the uh, power tilt. Well, very, very handy. Let me turn it off. I'll give it a quick... Uh... One last feature, it also has a, fi uh, not a fish finder, but a, uh, what do you call it, a uh, depth depth finder. And the uh, speedometer, um, there is a speedometer as well, and yeah, that's it. So thanks for looking.